Well, Gary, a lot of people, fans and players, are shaving their beards this morning, I would imagine. The hockey season is over, young lady. That's it, and it was like a blur. I mean, one minute you think the Bruins are going to win and there'll be a game seven, and the next minute it's over, and the Blackhawks two goals in 17 seconds? Yes, well, that's that. I... You got to be honest with you. I'm watching at home. Yeah. Like I'm going to lie to you about this, but yeah. I'm watching this at home, and I think, all right, get in the car. I got to drive back and go two to one, three to two at Cron, right? right? And I get back, and all of a sudden, you know, Boston's up two one, and then uh, Chicago wins. Right. So wait. I was caught totally <laughs> off guard. Oh my God! Well, that's how it happened. Even the players themselves, they, they said it was a blur. Uh, I, I, it just, when does that happen? And I, I, I do. I mean, I feel for the Bruins, and it was an exciting series the whole way back and forth. Yeah, and that's one of those things. You know, the concentration level's got to be high. You're not taking anything for granted with a minute and 16 uh, yeah. seconds left. So, yeah. hey, the best team won. Oh my gosh, I guess they did. So, yeah. uh, so. I, I understand that now if you if you lost you shave the beard if you win you shave do you shave it no matter or because don't you want to hold on to those undies and that beard for next season if, if you're the Blackhawks I am no? not an expert on uh, playoff hockey beards I don't no. mean to shock you but I don't know <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out because I I'm just all in favor of getting rid of the, and rid of the beers and just doing anything um, that that helps like with the Giants I'm always saying please do something now I'm at the point maybe they should all just shave their heads or something because or maybe they should try pitching yeah, right now maybe, they're maybe. a 500 team and uh, in fourth place that's the thing though the, I think the one deal the Giants have to hang on to well actually two they've got a lot of injuries yes and the fact remains that nobody in their division is just you know going crazy right well, everybody's playing uh, roughly the same which is mediocre but this tweak who you see hits the home run yes that's that's the talk of baseball and that was you know even a giant fan at the that was fun to watch him last yeah. night a rookie with seven home runs and only 20 major league baseball games under his belt so yeah it was it was fun to watch but not fun for i mean we don't want this to go on this is a 10 game 10 game road trip right i'm already saying don't make me turn this car around like i want them <laughs> to okay come so back. so you just... reached the panic stage yeah. with one game yeah. in yeah well and then the, the, i got the word about pagan he goes in for surgery today that could be the whole regular season right 12 weeks May I ask you something? Yes, sir. If the Giants happen to win three games and lose seven, okay. how will your life be affected? Well, uh, I, you know what? <laughs> it depends if you're on vacation. If okay. you're on vacation, they're dead to me and no effect. But, but well, if you're you working. you got a vacation coming up? If you're working, I care. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> you think some kid? All right. No, I, I see. do this all the time when somebody goes, I'll die if they lose. <laughs> Well, may God get your papers in order because the odds are they're going to lose a few here on okay. the road. Okay, how about their odds were not on. Rafael Nadal losing? This was this was a shocker. Even if you don't follow tennis, this is a French Open champion going down on the grass in the first round of Wimbledon. Daria, he is, as you well know, a clay court specialist. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe sir. the greatest clay court player of all time. So there is a difference. You know, different to the surface, but wow, to get knocked out in the first round. Yeah. You talk about concentration, maybe wasn't there. And huh? you know what? And you know what I do like? Even though you could tell there was something wrong, like maybe an injury, he, he's like, I'm not talking about injuries. I don't want to make it. It's going to sound like an excuse. I did not move how I needed to move on the grass. Yeah. Well, and I like that. You could look at it either way. One way either it, that or he's in a hurry to go on vacation. <laughs> exactly. He sure played like it. Okay. So I mean, when you're that much better than your opponent, that's a lack of concentration. Uh, that guy who beat him ranked 135th. My life will never be the same. Mine either. <laughs> and here's the thing is, you know how we do... I'll we... never look at a grass court again <laughs> the same way. <laughs> I'm not going to set foot on grass. <laughs> I, I don't play well on grass. Okay. I, I, I don't play any sport well on any surface. Well, I thought you um, were a golfer, yeah, though. Well, and the, and the grass needs to be very short for me. Okay, I, like, I don't right. like the rough to be too high. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so the, from, from the French champion, okay, of the French Open, <laughs> to this French mother. I want to I want to end with this cuz have you heard the story of the French mom who posed dressed up as a kid so she could take the test for her daughter? Wow, that's what? love. 
you may help with homework, right, Gear? You want to help a little. You want to see your kid do well. She's a 52-year-old woman. She dresses in some jeans, puts on some Converse, holds the kid ID. They, her kid's 19. Yeah. This is like the equivalent of the SAT. Goes in, starts taking the test. She Where thinks is this, anyway? this is in, Fran in France. In France. Right. And she goes. This is a big deal. This is like their SAT. They let her take it for two hours. The the proctor was like, hold on a second. I remember this girl's name, and this is not that girl because she really apparently was going to pass. Wow. And uh, and so she took the test. I mean, this is something I help my kid a little right with homework. I'm sure you do. But you to take the test is like the ultimate. Well, what ha what happened though? They okay, now. Uh, she takes the test, she gets caught, then what happens to the girl? Well, so that's the thing. Is I, I, she'll face repercussions, right? Because the, the, because the girl may not be able to take this test. Now they're going to, like, oust her from this whole system for maybe five years. The this mom... in college? Fraud charges. Yeah, that she was wanted to get her into school. She was like, especially on the English portion, I wanted to help her. She admitted to cheating. She, they pulled her out, and they waited a couple hours to arrest her. I'm thinking, she's probably going, oh, yeah, I'm uh, acing this test. Man. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, how about this? If, yes. If if the mother's nuts, then she's nuts. But if she just said, hey, I love my daughter so much, I, I'll do anything to try and get her in, that's, that's tough, huh? Yeah. Well, then what? But you know what? If your, kid, if your kid can't pass the test, your kid can't pass it. You can't live that life. Yeah, you, know? you ever heard of that? I want to get her out of, out of the house so bad, I'll take the test for her? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that's another good reason to pass. Hey, I'm, I'll send a car for you today. I'll tell you that. Will, will you? Yeah, damn right. <laughs> yeah, right. You're damn right. Thanks. I do have a vacation coming up. We'll talk about that more later. Oh, you're just what people at home want to hear as they get me. ready for work. I cannot Someone wait. Someone else having fun. No, so I'll be like, Giants who? What do you mean, Giants? Forget Black, that. I'm, what? Send, I'm sending a car. <laughs> we'll see I'm you later. I'm sending a car. Thank you, girl. I'll meet you later. <laughs> we'll be right back.